Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss a bit more about the JavaScript function and we are going to discuss about the return type in JavaScript function. Now, understanding return type is in important or return in the function is important because many times when we are doing API testing, we might be writing the function which will have a return type. When we say return type, say for example, this function that we defined, right? If I hover over, you will see that it accepts an uh, a parameter basically it accepts uh, the course parameter is defined right and there is a void right at the last that means there is no return type for this particular function we haven't returned anything as part of the computation when the computation or the calculation or this function is being called so what exactly is a return type now say for example you are writing a function to add two numbers okay now when that addition function will be called okay that add the addition of two numbers could be possible that it might be reused somewhere else in your program okay so if that's the case then you just don't print it or do not console log but you actually return it so that the value gets returned and other function or method that is being that is calling can use that addition or added value okay further to do the calculation okay let's understand that okay so for, for example let me comment this out let me define a method name okay with the name addition okay so i'll start with the keyword function followed by the name of the function right and i want to add two numbers say for example a and b all right so within parenthesis i will provide these two parameters okay then the curly brackets and within the curly bracket okay i can define a variable sum and i can just add these two numbers okay so i'll simply say a plus b right so for the sake of you know say for example this function okay addition function i am trying to just use it and just display anything right so just, just display the sum so in that case i can say okay if i just have to display the sum then i can simply say console.log okay and just log the sum whatever the sum of these two numbers okay so if that's the only requirement then this is fine but if i have to say for example let me call this function first okay so i'll simply say addition and i have to provide two arguments there right so these were the parameters and when you are passing the actual values in the function those are called as arguments so i can say for example i want to add 10 and 15 i pass those two numbers as an argument and call that particular function okay so if i send this now in the console let me clear it and save it and run it so you'll see 25 got okay but this 25 if say for example there is some other calling function which calls this addition and wants to use or wants to know what is the sum of the numbers that will be passed right then there needs to be a return type in this particular function right and in order to return a value in javascript the only thing you have to do is use the keyword return okay and what you are returning you are returning the sum right you are returning the addition the sum of two numbers right so we just say return sum okay and that's pretty much it right so in this particular case now if i just hover over you will see that it is not void right it is not basically void in the you will see that it has changed to any because there is a return keyword and it is returning a value returning the sum okay so in this particular case right we are directly calling this addition method and passing on two arguments now say for example let's say i define two variables okay so i'll say let x is 100 okay and let y is equal to 1 right now i want to basically use this addition from console.log within console.log okay i want to just print a message that i want to add these two numbers okay and see what is the sum of the numbers by calling this addition function okay so i'll say I'll use the template okay so use uh, the back tick okay so I'll say the sum of two numbers so basically x and y we have defined so we'll simply say dollar x get the reference of x and y okay is and here we simply call the method addition right and we just say pass the arguments x and y we want to add the numbers x and y okay and followed by the semicolon send it see the okay so there's unexpected end of input all right oh, okay there is a requirement for the curly bracket okay so send it again let's see the console right you will see the sum of 100 and 120 is 220 right and it is printed 220 as well where did it print it from so this console.log is within the function itself so 
this is first 220 is being printed from this console.log and then when we are calling this addition function and then passing on these two arguments there 100 and 200 x and y right then it is basically calling this particular function and then returning the sum and that sum we are able to use it here say for example i comment this out okay i comment that return statement there let's see what will happen in this particular case okay so if i send this now go to the console you will see that sum of 100 and 120 is undefined why because we are calling this particular function addition of x and y okay but there is no return okay when we when we are calling addition okay it calls that particular method that particular function and then once it will print this 220 it is it is printing because it is from the console.log this statement is printing 220 and then it is also printing from this console.log values x and y because we have defined x and y here outside but this addition okay addition function scope is within this two parenthesis right within this code block so in this particular case because there is no return we are not returning any of the sum right so that is why when this function is being called then only this up to this statement is being printed right the actual value that need to be returned that can be reused here is not returned okay and that is why you will see that this is actually undefined in that particular case okay so to put it in a very simple way we can simplify it okay so we don't want console.log anymore okay we can simply say we can say something like let sum and then return sum or you can simply say return a plus okay and remove so this is how you will be able uh, you will be defining a function and if you want to return any particular value so that you can reuse it later in other function when you are calling another function for example log and within that we are calling this function then use the return keyword to return the value from the function that you are defining so if i send this again you will see that sum of 100 and 120 is 220 right basically how this return type okay so this is briefly about the return type in javascript functions i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching